In this video, we're going to look at the scapula. You have bilateral scapula. Uh, easy way to identify right from left is this scapular spine leading out to this projection here called the acromial process. It always goes to the lateral aspect of the body. And also, you'll find this glenoid cavity on the lateral aspect of the body. That's where the, where the humoral head, or the head of the humerus, must articulate. So this is what you guys normally call your shoulder blade. This is your scapula. Looking at the posterior view, you see, again, the scapular spine leading out to the acromial process. We can see just below this, this fossa, this area called the infraspinatus fossa, infra meaning below spinatus, the scapular spine. Down here we have the inferior angle of the scapula. This would be the medial border of the scapula. This would be the lateral border of the scapula. Up here we have the superior angle, the superior border, and the suprascapular notch. Just above the scapular spine, we have another fossa called the supraspinatus fossa. This is where your supraspinatus muscle will reside, just as the infraspinatus fossa is where the infraspinatus muscle will reside. If we turn this a little bit towards the anterior so we can see these other processes, you can see a smaller one here, just anterior to the acromial process, you have a coracoid process. You're looking at the anterior surface of the scapula, which means this fossa here, this hallowed out area, is the subscapular fossa. This is actually the costal surface. This would sit against your ribs. Remember, this is your shoulder blade, anterior view. This sits on your back. Let's look at the lateral border here and up to the glenoid cavity again, or glenoid fossa. This is where the humerus will articulate. And right here we have the superglenoid tubercle. This is where the long head of your biceps will originate.